Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode. If you are new here, my name is Ronak, a YouTuber, book blogger, podcaster and freelancer. On this channel, we talk about book recommendation, movies, freelancing and how to make money online. So if you love any of this topic, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm going to talk about books that influenced my life. Like I have divided this video in different topics. So if you love any of this topic, then make sure you watch that particular video. You can find the timestamp in the description. So I have divided this video in topics like personal finance, business, life, creativity, romance. So there are few books that influence that particular area of my life. So if you want to go check out, then watch this video and you will understand how those book influenced my life. First category I want to talk about is general life. So in general life, there are actually three books that help me to understand or that influenced me. The first book is Atomic Habit by James Clare, an easy and proven way to build good habits and drag, break bad ones. So I used to watch a lot of movies to time pass and a lot of these kind of free stuff. But then I realized if I wanted to become something great, then first I have to change all my habits. And if I want to change my habit, then I have to do something that. So habits is not something that you can change overnight. You have to build a system around your habit and that can help you to change that. So Atomic Habit, that one book that shaped my life or influenced my life in much way that how you can do teeny changes that will help you to get better like there is a concept of uh, how to dopa use the dopamine effect how to use the two minutes rule how to cure how to reward everything so a lot of things i learned from this book and i started applying in my life and that's why this book influenced me a lot when it comes to overall life the second book that influenced me is the compound effect which is a very small book which is less than 200 pages hardly 100 pages even the font is big so you can finish it within one or two hours but compound effect helped me to understand how you can master over the year, how you can produce content over the year. I mean, every life, if you can understand compound effect really well, then that can work for you. And if you cannot understand compound effect, that can work against you. If you are in the bad phase, then it will start compounding the bad effects in your life. But if you start applying the good habits and start making the compound effect for that reason then you can become a really good person and you can get a lot of things over the year it will it will look like overnight success but it's all about the teeny changes you make in day-to-day -day life the third book that influenced me is make it stick the science of learning well this book is not a particular uh, kind of uh, this like these books this book is more about the learning what is learning how to learn stuff i'm currently learning one musical instrument two languages first one is french and second one is esperanto so how to learn those stuff because we taught in the school that okay there is only few learning methods that either you can read either you can write or i can you can repeat it repeatedly do these two things there is actually a learning method so first you have if you want to learn something that you have to learn a lot then you have to apply different techniques then you have to do a lot of things then you can be a better learner so if you want to be a better learner and then you have to understand make it stick and make it stick this is a book that will help you to understand how to learn better second category i want to talk about is personal finance well there are two books mainly that influenced me in the personal finance I actually have read a lot of books in the personal finance. I have made already many videos on the personal finance and the detailed video will coming soon. But if I want to talk about the personal finance, then there are two books. First one is Rich Dad Poor Dad. This is a story of two dads. First one is Original Dad who is in the kind of employee mindset, job mindset. And the second dad which is Friends Dad who is in the empire, who is having a business. So these two dads taught him that how to be a businessman, how to understand the money effect, what is money and how to be a better person. So all of these things help to understand that will how you should how you should think about the money, how you how to how money works for you. And there is one concept if you can understand the money well, then it doesn't matter what happens to your life. You will definitely make money if you if you know how to make money. Second book that influenced me is the Let's Talk Money by the Monica Hallen. I read this book in 2019-18 around 18-2019 and this book helped me to understand a lot about the personal finance that what is required in personal finance portfolio how to diversify your revenue how why you have why you should have the three accounts like first one is incoming account second one is outgoing account and third one is saving account so you should have a three accounts then 
how to diversify your portfolio in the mutual funds real estate gold emergency fund building everything that one should have in a indian indian india i mean that's something we india don't know and if you are looking for something then this book will definitely help you to understand i already made one video you can go check that out third category i want to talk about is business category so in the business category there are mainly two books that help me a lot obviously there are few other books also but the mainly two book that influenced a lot is first one is four hour work week by team ferris well you already know what team ferris you can go on twitter and go search on that way search on the google that who is team ferris he has his own podcast go listen to the podcast which is really good so four hour work week is basically if you have a digital business if you are into the digital space creator space then you should definitely read the four hour work week it's a really helpful guide to understand how you how how you should make a digital business successful what are the things you should focus on there is a concept in this book called the new bridge like you don't need a lot of money to be successful or you don't need a lot of money to get retired you need enough money and to understand that enough you have to read this book so there is a lot of thing i applied from this book like how to read faster how to use the pareto principle how to use the you know 80 20 rule how to use the 2 minutes rule and how you can automate a lot of things i have started applying to this all my freelancing business and that worked really well because freelancing is nothing but my business is completely online so how to learn how to understand those things and so if you have a digital business then this book will definitely help you the second book that shaped my business is rework by jason well this book is more about the how to build your business how to build your relationship product development a lot of about that stuff and this book is quite short and good so if you are looking for something very quick read and that will help you to change then you should read the rework book there is one sentence i really like from this book which says to do great work you need to feel you are making a difference so i always think about that how i can make a difference what is the different things i can do in my life or what are the things that can make a difference in my life or different in the audience life so that's how i think about this book next category i want to talk about is mindfulness well i have not read many books on the mindfulness but i have read almost all the book by the om swami so there is one book by the om swami which is mindful to mindful which is a great way to understand what is a zen philosophy what is a mindfulness there is a one paragraph that i really like that says one season come they goes another season come then goes uh, is what life is all about it's not about some grand goals zen does not believe in that zen says it is simple matter of perspective if you can eat when you are eating if you can sleep when you are sleeping you are a liberate, liberated soul so whenever i am tensed or whenever i am looking for something mindfulness then i always read the sentence and i feel really blessed that okay i can sleep whenever i want i can work whenever i want i can do stuff whatever i like so i feel that i am really blessed with all of these things so whenever i am looking for a mindfulness then i always go for this sentence and this self has helped me to get always grounded the next category i want to talk about is philosophy Well, I have read a lot of books into the philosophy category also, but there is a one great book which is *Man's Search for the Meaning* by Viktor Frankl, which is a definitely great pick for me. So there is a concept called the logotherapy in this book, which changed me a lot, or which helped me to understand how you should think about the suffering because. everyone goes to the suffering but there are few ways to get read out of it or how to understand the suffering concept so there are three way three method you can understand the suffering really great way so the first one which says by creating a work like if you can create a work if you can create a war you can avoid the suffering this is something that whatever you do whatever you like or you can call it as a hobby or passion that's something if you can create then you can avoid the suffering the second way to avoid suffering is to truly love someone like our parents does to us like the same way you are, if you can love someone then you can avoid the suffering the third one is making the attitude that it's okay to have all the suffering or unavoidable suffering and i believe that whenever i face the problem i try to try to divide that problem in its which category it can go and i try to distract my ta- that ty- kind of problem with that kind of category so if you have not read this book i will highly suggest you to read this book or you can just understand the what is a logotherapy and how you can use that logotherapy in your day to day life next category i want to talk about is creativity well there is one book that i have read on the creativity and still it's really really good which says steal like an artist by austin coley which is a definitely great read if you have not read it i will highly suggest you to go and read this book this is 
hardly 60 to 160 pages book i mean this book is very very short so there is no reason that you can you say that i have excuse or i don't have time you can if you cannot spend 30 minutes to just to get more creative juices or creative ideas then you are doing something wrong so this book is talk a lot about what is a creativity creativity is bunch of ideas this book help you to understand how to be a more creative person how you can steal from the best artists and how it's not actually about the stealing but it understanding the how the great art artists work how the great artists get their ideas or how the great artists thinks so if you are into the creative field digital field then you should definitely go and read this book which is a very very short the link is in the description you can buy this book the last category i want to talk about is romance well i am single i am not engaged or i don't have any girlfriend but i truly believe that everyone should get the feeling of love everyone should understand what is the feeling of love and everyone should go to that phase of relationship but obviously i have a single so i have no idea but still there are few books that influenced me to understand the concept of love to understand the concept of romance the first book is none other than the fault in our stars which is a story of augustus and hazel which is a definitely a great pick for me i read this book in college days and that I, I still remember everything whatever I read the ambulance effect and everything everything in this book so I'm not going to talk a lot about in the romance category because I believe you should read this book you should understand what is love you should understand what is romance and you should understand all those things so first book is none other than the fault in our star second book is five feet apart which is based on the kind of same story about the cancer patient which is in the hospital and which tells you what a person can do if he or she is in the love what are the things they can do if they are in the love uh, madly in the love we can say the third book is the notebook by nicholas park which is another great pick for me i read this last year like last to last year i guess and this this is a great book i mean if you have in the long distance relationship if you are if you are if you, how to wait for someone can you wait for someone for the longer time a lot of things will help you to understand in that book the notebook and the last book is me before you by jojo Moyes, which is another great book for me which is very close to my heart which is actually these four books are very close to five close to my heart and which help me to understand the feeling of love which help me to understand the feeling of romance relationship and everything so these are the all books that influenced my life in the different different category i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video make sure you like this and comment down what is that one book that you want to read out of this and what is that one book that going to that influenced your life and i will see you in my next video bye bye tata take care